Hey guys, today I'll be showing you guys the products I loved in the month of July. I hope you like them and maybe try them out. So let's get started. I'm going to start off with two skincare products. The first one I have is a face mist. Basically, all of Click Me knows I'm obsessed with face mist. The one I've loved in the past month is this one right here. It is the Arita Baby Face Mist or the Tongan Mist. And I have two of them actually. I have the rose one and the honey one. The rose one is in Chok Chok Gurugwang and the honey one is Teng Teng Gurugwang. I actually used the rose one more because it's less sticky, but then this past month I've been liking the honey one more because it smells really good. Um, I actually don't like rose scents, but I just use it because it wasn't sticky. But this one smells so good. When you spray it, it leaves a nice sheen on your face, so it looks really glowy. And at first, I really didn't like that because it was a little sticky. But I've been into glowy skin these days, so I've been using this a lot. I use this before my makeup and after my makeup to set it, and it just makes it really nice and glowy. The next product I have is the Tony Moly Bamboo Cool Water Soothing Gel. This video right here got sold out in Korea within days of being released. So I thought, hmm, it must be really good. So I bought it. I keep this in the refrigerator and use it in the morning after all my skincare and right before I put on my makeup so that it cools down my face so that my foundation will soak in better. On lazy days when I'm just at home not wearing any makeup, I like to just put it on whenever my face feels hot or just whenever it feels a little dry. Yeah, it's not sticky at all. I really hate sticky products, but this is not sticky. It's really cool because there's 99% of bamboo extracts in here, so that's really awesome. And I also really like the packaging. Can you tell? It's like a bamboo stalk. And that's so cute. Oh, and it smells really good. Okay, moving on to makeup products, I have this Innisfree Smart Makeup Blender and Shimmer. This thing has pink shimmers in it, so it's supposed to make your face look really glowy and bright. You could either use it before all your makeup has a primer. You could either use it mixed in with your foundation to give your face an overall glow, or you could use it just by itself on top of your makeup as a highlighter. And I actually use it today. I just use my normal foundation and then mix this in with a little bit and put that right here and here, just areas that I wanted to highlight. And um, I don't actually like using it as a primer because it makes me look too shimmery and glowy. But when I use it by itself on top or when I mix it in with the little foundation and put it on certain areas, it looks really good. So the next product I have is actually just an eyelash curler. And I just wanted to give this a shout out because it's so good. And this is the one from Tarte. And I've been really liking Tarte these days. This curler is seriously one of the best ones I've ever used. I've used a bunch so I think I can safely say that this is one of the best ones. It doesn't squeeze your eyelashes really hard so that they fall out. So I feel like I'm not really damaging them when I use it. and it makes my lashes like really up and bouncy, if you know what that means. Yeah, like I have like the lamest eyelashes ever, so I need the biggest boost I could get. So yeah, if you're on the market for a new eyelash curler, definitely try this one out. I don't think you'll regret it. The last product I have is, of course, a lip product. If you guys watched my lip tint collection, you should already know that I love my lip tints. Um, I love lip products in general, but I think tints are my favorite. I like that you can feel that you're wearing them. Like lipsticks can be really heavy sometimes and especially matte lipsticks and like lip glosses. They feel really sticky and heavy on your lips, but lip tints, you put it on and you can't even feel it. Plus they smell so good. This tint right here is the Tony Moly Tony Tint Delight. So I have this in red also, but I like this so much that I went out and got the orange version. So this is number three, orange cha cha. I guess it's orange cha cha. This is really nice. It is a hot orange or a red orange. You could either just use one swipe and it'll leave a nice little touch of color, or you could build it up with a few layers and it will look really bright and pigmented. I have it on today. Um, actually, so I could show you guys. Please excuse my chapped lips. I will always be cursed 
with chapped lips. It's really annoying. Really annoying because I love lip products so much and they never look good on me because my chapped lips just always ruin them. And because I have really pigmented lips, it makes it even worse because I can't even wear light colors, which is why you'll see me wear dark colors like this a lot. Okay, enough with my rant. I showed you guys five products today and I hope maybe you'll like them and try them out. If you try them out, feel free to leave a comment and tell me how you like it, whether you like it or not. If you don't, I'm sorry. I'm just giving my personal opinion. Thank you for watching. I hope this video was very helpful to you. And make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for more videos.